Hi, so we're here today because we've been meeting the dog section. They've been doing some training at the Falcons ground uh, up at Kingston Park. And the reason that we're here is because basically one of our dogs that we got from the Dogs Trust has passed our exposure course. So if essentially what it means is this, this dog that was abandoned as a puppy and given to a charity and, and, and they were worried whether or not it would even get a home has been sent for a career with Northumbria Police. We've been doing some training with um, some explosives dogs. We've had a licensed explosives dog uh, donated from the Dogs Trust. And we've also got a 20 month old lab who was also donated from the Dogs Trust, who's now part way through an explosive initial course. We've had a good working relationship now with the Dogs Trust for a number of years. Um, I mean, I was exposed myself to, um, to what the fantastic job they do in 2012 when I was on my initial instructor's course. Um, and there's been good links made with them because they know the type of dog that we're looking for. We want that high, dry, boisterous dog. That's probably not suitable for the majority of uh, um, families. So if they tick the boxes for us, they, they've got that energy about them, and they've got that desire to search, then we'll try and mold them into what we want. And there's a good percentage of that pass that we get. Um, and I think, I think it's, it's great to get dogs that are unwanted uh, or can't be rehomed and then they come and work for the police and they have a, they have a great work and life and, and uh, well looked after. We get a number of dogs brought into us for many different reasons, whether they're strays, they haven't been killed in a home, that kind of thing. And we basically try and look for the ideal home for that dog. And in the meantime, obviously, to give them all the enrichment they want, to block the walks, then they take their own. There's a number of different circumstances why dogs come to us. Um, it can be a change in owner's circumstances, so they might have moved house and they might not be able to take the dog with them. Um, it can be older people that have passed away and then there's nowhere for the dog to go. And it can be puppies and things like that when people have taken a puppy on, um, not realised how much responsibility there is in having a puppy. Um, so then it ends up with us as well. Meg is a 14 year old lurcher, she's absolutely beautiful, lovely nature, great with people and dogs. Um, she came in towards through quite sad circumstances really, she was found tied up to a gas canister, um, so now she's just looking for a nice retirement home.